in numerology there is different types of things that you can calculate so we've gone over your personal birth chart breakdown which consists of your seven core numbers <laughs> where you can determine the energy that is within your life cycles and these are called major life cycle numbers there's also information that you can calculate and this is to determine the energy that is surrounding the collective consciousness and you individually so there is the universal number universal year number it's going to determine the energy of the collective consciousness then there is the personal year number and this is going to determine the energy surrounding your year in your life and this is something that it's really good if you know because then you can also focus on that energy and amplify that energy within you and your year then within your personal year number, there's going to be energies surrounding each month and you can calculate this energy and determine what this energy is, know and be aware of it so that you can harness that energy and amplify it and embody it through your year. You can also calculate the energy surrounding your days and this is something that I do just so I have it. I don't pay too much attention to it unless I am booking a meeting or um, if I am making plans for something, then I'll look at the energy of the day and see if it aligns with my plans um, so that I can make sure that the energy is going to align properly um, with what it is that I am going to be stepping into. So. The energy in your personal day numbers, it's very subtle, but sometimes it is really empowering. And um, there's days where I have master number days. I had an 11-2 day the other day, and I wasn't expecting to have that, but that was the energy of that day, and I really did feel it. And um, regardless of whether you have calculated it, it's going to be there. Knowing this information ahead of time, it just gives you a one step ahead of the game type deal. Like numerology is just a tool to help you um, to master your soul path and to um, really go towards your full potential and to reach your full potential. I love it. It's helped me in my journey and when I found out what my life path number was back in 2016, I was a little bit confused because I thought I was a 6 and I didn't realize that I was a master number 33 until I had a woman um, tell me that I was a master number 33 and then I really started studying and calculating my numbers and then um, I decided to embody that energy of the 33 and really bring my creativity into the forefront because three is the number of creativity and communication and that is what my company is. It's all about creativity and communication. Um, so I've really been embodying that energy and really just going for it, putting my all into what it is that I'm doing and what it is that I love, my passions, my purpose in this world. So um, I love numerology. It's helped me so much. I know that it's helped so many other people and I know that it can help you too. So um, just tap into your numbers and study them, learn them, embody them. I continue to learn and grow and develop. I use numerology in my everyday life to calculate the energy that is surrounding me and the energy that I can embody within my present and within the future. So um, I love it and I hope that you can get as much value from it as I have and as many others have in this world.